I love MasterChef and I watch it. The pressure is immense. Mm. Yeah, it's um, so huge. You can't begin to even describe how, how pressured it is. Is it what you imagined it would be like? Um, no, it's, it's far more pressured than what you'd imagine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it really is. And, and Cooking for You started at a very early age, didn't it? You were eight? Yeah, yeah. I've always, as far as I can remember, I've been cooking. I've, it's something I love, so. And then, and you say you learnt actually how to cook, which will surprise some people, in, in McDonald's. I worked at McDonald's when yeah. I was 16. It, it taught me to be tidy at, it, at the time. That was quite big. It's one thing I did take away from there. Mm. What, um, what were the best moments for you when you were doing it? Uh, MasterChef in general was phenomenal, but the, the time with the Red Arrows at, at Lincoln was good. And of course, all, all the, the comments I got from Michelin star chefs, and they wanted to use my ideas, and that's as high a compliment as you can ever that get. That is a high compliment, but to me, it says you need to put your own cookbook out and they should stop nicking your ideas. <laughs> <laughs> what about the worst moment? Um, I think it's, to be honest, it's when I did the beetroot ice cream. It, it was, it could have cost me dearly that to mm. go out in the quarterfinals. And mm. I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't have been here today to start with. And, and what about the, what about the moment that you dyed John Rhodes' tongue green? Yeah, that, that was uh, <laughs> hysterical. Um, there was so much going on. What happened shortly after that is because everyone was trying to sort out that mess that had caused. Um, I actually slipped and fell and squashed some of my food that I'd made. So and that was the most pressured cook of all as well. So I had to re remake my uh, potato almondine uh, oh, again God. for the dish. 